Facebook. Rolling. I have the same flashlight model, same battery in each, same conclusion. My tube is brighter than yours. <laughs> that's a weird title, but that's the way it is, but it took me a long time to, to get there. So my idea behind this video is that uh, a few days ago, I, I, uh, I saw that super old picture that I posted on the group where I was comparing two tubes. One was only milky white and one had a slice of foil. And obviously with the slice of foil, it was much yeah. brighter. The cat agreed. Where's the cat? I don't know. But over the years, trying a lot of different things, especially when we tried to find a way to put those things in the market for you, my friends. Um, I tried a lot of different things and I wanted to, to have the diffuser a bit more solid in the tube itself. And my way to do that was to put a clear gel, super high quality Roscoe clear gel inside of it. And it's making everything more. Well, basically it protects the layers inside and it also like, kind of pushes everything uh, against the tube so it, it's solid, it doesn't move. Yeah, the, the diffuser is sandwiched between the tube and the protector, but that protector is what's making everything brighter. So I have three tubes on the table currently. First one here, the weaker, is only the diffuser. Second one, diffuser and a reflector, a slice of foil, and the third, only the diffuser and the protector, like the clear gel. And it's much brighter. Yeah. Simpler to, to make, more solid. And this is what I've been selling on the store for a year, ne nearly a year and a half now. Yeah, it's, it's super interesting because the one with the foil, you can see that at the base, it, it's, it, brighter. it's kind of brighter, yeah. but then it, it uh, yeah. fades away. So it's not just about being brighter, but it's more even yeah, exactly. from top to bottom. I have, yeah. this, I have this thing here just to, to prove everything. Test, yeah. This is a, a kind of a light meter, super precise. This is what I'm using to test the brightness of all of my tubes. First tube here is at 500 lux. 500 lux, second one. Uh, 1,900. Yeah, nearly 2,000 lux. Yeah. And last one, boom, 9,000 lux. 500, almost. Yeah. almost that's a lot. Yeah. So it's not the best measure, but that, that's quite obvious that this one is brighter. And at the base, I assume that the, the one with the foil yeah. is brighter. It's at yeah, 400,000. Yeah. yeah. So the one with the foil is twice brighter at the base, but you don't really need that because the, the base is most of the time behind the model when you're doing circles and it's harder to to manage because uh, you're going to burn your whites and going the tube is fading out. Best solution is really to use the clear gel that we call the protector. And this is making everything brighter and more even from bottom to top or top to bottom. That's it.